I'm Mike Zima, Chief Growth Officer of Zima Media, and we help Shopify stores just like yours every day with their marketing and their advertising. We took our experience of working with thousands of clients and we put it into this SEO page optimization guide to help you rank your product pages higher on Google. So let's dive into the meat of this course and along the way you're going to pick up some useful hints and tactics to rank yourself on Google. So let's go. Welcome to the Shopify marketing tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize your Shopify store's product pages for unlimited results. This consists of providing more detailed information about a certain product to drive conversions while also improving user experience and your SEO ranking. Let's begin. Before you start, first you need to know how a Shopify product page is structured. I'll review the symmetry of this Shopify page now. You can see the title of the product, the description of the product, the media and the photos that you're importing to show your product and display it to your customers. You have your product type that you can narrow down and select. You have your brand, which is the name of the brand of the product, or it's your brand. You can also modify the collections and put it into different collections that have different products that match up with this one, and also your tags, so you can keep track of these products. When you scroll a little further, you have pricing options, inventory options, and also the most important would be the GTIN or UPC number, which you'll need for your ads campaigns. Below, you'll see there's other options that you can customize and the search engine preview. In this tutorial, we're going to teach you how to optimize everything in this page except for the search engine listing preview. We've already gone through this in a previous tutorial. Step one, find your focus keyword. We've already discussed how to do SEO keyword research for your Shopify website, so we won't dive into it here. But once you find the right keyword, get ready to include it everywhere. Step two, prepare your optimizations. In this product page optimization workbook, you'll be able to plan your URL title, product descriptions, image alt tags, and more. You can download it for free here. Look for the link below. Step three, optimize your product name. This section is also the title in your Shopify backend. But for simplicity's sake, we will refer to this as the product name. You can also see the product name appear here, which is also going to be your H1 tag. Just like our on-page SEO optimization, your product title needs to have a total of 57 characters or less when possible. Include your focus keyword, include the brand name, include the product brand. For example, if your product is a cleansing oil balm from a particular Korean brand, you should mention it. Korean brand, cleansing oil balm, your Shopify store. But keep in mind that it needs to be 57 characters or less. If it's longer, users will see a broken title when they search for your product. And over here, I dropped in the new product title. This is what it says on the website. And this is my new optimized one because I also see some search volume around this particular keyword. So I optimize it and I wanna make sure that I put this into the site when I am ready. Step four, optimize your product description. Shopify gives you the chance to create unique descriptions for all of the pages of your website. Take advantage of it. This is where you can go crazy with the content. A few best practices are include the focus keyword, include the product name, display a list of benefits, provide relevant, useful, and original information. If you have a blog post review, you can link it here. All of this is important because duplicate content and duplicate descriptions are a big no-no for SEO. So don't copy and paste the same description every other page has. Make it your own and tell the users what's so special about this particular product. 
Since I only imported this product, this is not enough for a description. This doesn't tell Google or the customer anything. I don't even wanna buy this. So I went ahead and I started writing a new description for this page. I wrote this description and I broke it down, including all of the different compounds that are unique to this product, how this is going to enhance your skin, and certain details and information and pricing information to help a customer make a choice and buy without a doubt. Step five, optimize the media. Images and videos can make or break your conversion since users can't physically view your product or try out a tester. Your images have to provide all this information for them. As a few best practices, only upload images created for web, highest quality at the lowest weight and size so that they don't slow down your site. Next, you need to edit the image alt text. Alt text or alternative text is used within your site's code and can help search engines find images related to a user's intent. That means they can help users find your website. This was actually created to help people with visual disabilities surf the web and understand what's on a web page. It's incredible that this information can actually help people find out what your image is actually about. The same goes for Google. They're going to scan this image and understand what this image is about. Here's how you can edit them. Prepare your alt text tags. Use our free workbook. Go into the product pages you want to edit. Navigate to the menu section. Click on the images you want to optimize. Click add alt text. Click save. Repeat for other images and videos. It's really simple. You can document all of this, but the secret to alt text optimizations is not leaving them blank. So as you work on the images, make sure you start adding different alt text. It's really simple to just do the brand and name of product or a little description about the product. So I'm going to say clean it zero balm. And that's it. I hit save and I'm good to go. Now just repeat this for all of your images and your pages are going to be optimized to the maximum. Step six, add product type. This is important for categorization purposes. Always remember to include the type of product, shirt, shoes, sunglasses, etc., in order to keep your site's categories clean and readable. In this case, this is going to be a makeup remover. Hit save. Step seven, add product vendor. Same as the step above, this step helps keep your Shopify catalog clean. And trust us, it will make things a lot easier when you want to run ads. Vendor basically stands for brand. So just make sure you add the correct information. In this product example, the vendor is my store and Shopify automatically assumes you're only selling your products. So make sure that you add the specific brand. In this case, we carry Korean skincare products. So we wanna add vanilla. So go ahead, add the vendor or brand and hit save. Step eight, add product tags. Product tags are searchable keywords associated with your product. They can help customers find a product when searching through your store and can also be used to create automated collections. To edit them, prepare the keywords you want to use. Remember to include relevant information, color, size, special attribution. Navigate to the product page you want to optimize. Scroll to the tag section. Add text separated only by a comma, such as blue comma, large comma, summer comma, sandals, and click save. In this case, I'm going to do makeup remover and I'm going to use the brand name in case somebody's searching the brand. Step nine, review your pricing. This is necessary both for direct sales on your product page and for future advertising campaigns. It's always better to check if your prices are set correctly for each product and variant. Step 10, optimize the inventory section. This step isn't absolutely necessary, but it'll make advertising later easy as pie. The inventory section includes your SKU, your stock keeping units, your barcodes, your ISBN, your UPC, GTN, quantity tracking. Although the SKU can be internal, the barcode or GTI 
N needs to be standardized. GTIN stands for Global Trade Item Number. It's a unique identifier used internationally to store and locate product information. You can't find the GTIN above or below the barcode on your product's physical packaging. If you don't have it, contact the manufacturer to get it. It's important to make sure the GTIN is correct since several sales and advertising channels need it in order to run campaigns. For example, if you don't have your GTINs included from the beginning, you won't be able to run Google Shopping campaigns later. But if you do have them, then you're ready to go. Step 11, add product schema markup. Schema markup or structured data markup gives search engine more information about your website, your product, and your content. For Shopify, this means that structured data gives Google valuable information about what you're selling, like pricing, availability, ratings, total reviews, etc. To check if it's showing up, simply run a Google search for one of your products and make sure the structured data is showing up. Technically, it should already be installed in your Shopify store, but just in case that it isn't, you can try to add it. To do this, you can do the following. So first, when you look at your product inside of the Google Structured Data tool, it's gonna to come up with some details. So this is the code of your website, and the breakdown is here. So your products are already set up, and you can see some of the variables. You see the SKU, eventually the GTIN number, and there's some issues here with reviews because I don't have reviews. In order to set it up properly, you have to look at a couple of different options. The first option is, Edit manually. This requires you to be familiar with Shopify Liquid, JSON LD, HTML, and schema.org. We do not recommend to do it this way if you're not an expert, since the schema structure is unique and you can end up messing up your site, and this will prevent you from coming up on Google and running your ads. Install an app, Shopify store apps like JSON LD for SEO can be a good option since it will automatically provide search engines with all the structured data in the necessary format. However, apps like this one normally require payments and setup. Hire an expert. Sometimes it's best to let a certified Shopify expert do the task for you. Here are some other product page optimizations to consider. Include ratings and reviews. Cross-sell to other products frequently bought together. Include as many trust signals as possible. In the end, your product page should be able to connect with your customers, tell them what your product is all about, and convince them to purchase. Get creative, include images, and optimize your heart out, and you'll save yourself a ton of effort when it's time to advertise. Don't forget to download our completely free workbook to make this optimization easy, fast, and measurable. Thank you for watching this Shopify marketing course. Every day we're launching new Shopify marketing content to put you in the driver's seat of your business so you can have full control of your marketing and advertising. Hit subscribe, hit notifications, and tune into the next video that's starting now.